Hi guys, this is Tarek N playing Hero of the Stones. Uh, the map is currently uh, Dragon Shire, and what you got to do is the main objective is to kill your enemy, defeat your enemy, and destroy their friggin' base. Now, before you do that, I'm just gonna give you a little bit information. Uh, for beginners like newbies like myself when I didn't know what to do on this map because Hero Storms has I believe a couple or five maps so far or maybe six I'm not quite sure I haven't done all the maps yet on multiplayer and this is one of my replays that I did on this map and I'm just showing showing you for all the new players or the beginners or people that not too familiarized with this map to show them what to do now on this map it has three lanes, one in the top, one in the middle, and one in the bottom here. And what you do is you gotta defeat the enemy of course, but you gotta let the map help you defeat the enemy enemies, and that's by controlling the shrines and controlling the dragon knights. So the shrines at the top here, one one in the middle and one in the bottom. The first thing you want to do is control the shrine, one at the top, one at the bottom. Now at the bottom of your right screen, it'll tell you which shrine is controlled by the flashing uh, icons here. So the blue team controls one, the red team controls one. So blue team's at the top, a little sun, a little sun uh, object, and a little moon object at the bottom for the red team. And you can see right now, so the top is still controlled for the blue team, the bottom is still controlled by the red team and what you want to do is go on the shrine till it loads up to be activated and what you can do is you can just leave the shrine alone go somewhere else and you know do the sage or the bruiser camp or you know hold your enemies back while you know it's still activated on your side now both both teams still have the shrine activated so we need one more from the other team to activate two shrines and then what I'll do is just shoot a beaming light to the middle shrine and whoever goes on it right clicks on it wait till it loads and you get a controlled dragon knight now on this map here it has bruiser camp and sage camp so bruiser bruiser oh there we go Let's see if anyone can control it red team can not control it because it's still on the blue team and he's gonna let go there we go so he's right clicking on it and it's loading up ooh but he didn't get it he did not get it because none of the team has two shrines activated for themselves so we're just gonna go back to the bruiser camp bruiser camps on the left uh, right and down here in the middle bottom middle Sage is on the left and the right. Now Shrine is still open. No one seems to be able to bothly activate. There we go. The blue team activated it. And you don't have to you don't have to stay on the shrine. You can just leave it like I said earlier and you know defeat your enemy or kill try to kill your enemy and just let it go. But you might want to stay there in the bush. To see if anyone's going to activate it, if your enemy's going to activate it, and just ambush him, so he can back off and go away. And that's what this map is basically all about. So, of course, the main ob objective is to kill your enemy, defeat their buildings, and destroy your enemy. But you gotta help. You gotta let the map also help you guide guide you to. Uh, destroy your enemy and this map offers you the ability to, to transform into a dragon knight and it seems like no one's able to grab the dragon knight again see like this shrine here no one's around it and he's just leaving it alone he's protecting it I guess and there we go so the blue team's got the dragon knight now what I would suggest is just go towards the base screw screw the creeps and the mobs here 
Go straight for the base like what he's doing right now. He has a lot of HP, a lot of power in him. Does a lot of damage. One hero can't do that much damage to him, but if there's three or more, yeah, he'll, he'll die. Now, the HP is right here. How many percentage left? And the timer is right here how long you can use it. Right here. See, now, there's two people trying to kill the Dragonite. Now, if you go to the Dragon Knight and activate it with like half your HP, half your health, you'll be deactivated with half the health you have. So you might want to go with full HP or you'll die right there. So this is the map of Hero of Storm Dragon Shire, or Shire, whatever. It should have just said Dragon Shr Shrines, it would have been easier. And all you have to do, like I said before, go on the shrines, control them. Whoever gets two activated, go to the middle, control the Dragon Knight, and just go straight towards your enemy's base and destroy their building. And it will also tell you uh, where you are if you're controlling Dragon Knight on the enemy's team, where you are located on the map. So you might want to be careful uh, where you hit their base, maybe the top, the middle, or the bottom. Just make sure if they're all the way at the bottom, go to the top map and just destroy the base there. And like always, there will be an activation clock when the, you're able to activate the shrines. So just look out for it, and that's about it. Okay, so this is Tarek N. If you have any um, uh, questions or, you know, Anything want to be explained, I can try to answer it as best I can. I'm fairly new to this game. I just played it about a week ago or two weeks ago. And it's pretty interesting. Uh, pre pretty interesting game because uh, you have to use the resources on the map to actually defeating your enemy. And if you have any question, feel free to ask, um, comment. Subscribe and like, and this is Tarek signing off.